Hi, Sean. It's so nice to talk to you today. Hello, uh, Alexandra. Okay. My name, my name's Sean Alexander Parks. Oh, I see. So I thought we were, I thought I was going to, I thought we were on the same page. We are on the same page. We Alexandra, are. Alexander. It's like the Spanish version. Latina, right. Latino. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm very good. And um, yes, I feel very good today. Thank you very much. You are in Canada right now. I am in Canada. Just Is it cold? Uh, no, it's actually a beautiful fall day. Oh, uh, Okay. Uh, I do love talking to people about Canada because I love talking to those people who are like, oh, no, yeah, we used to build igloos, yeah, all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, really? <laughs> Did you really? They're like, yeah, that's my life growing up as a kid, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Shit. I wish that I could have like, been making igloos when I was a child. And they're all like, no, you don't. <laughs> Too cold. Where are you located today? Right now, I'm in southeast. Uh, I'm in southeast England. I live by a beach called South Sea. Oh, wonderful! And I think you guys get better weather than we do. Well, anywhere on the planet that's south of its city and a few hours away is usually warmer. So I I live south of London, of England. You know, I live at the tip. If you look at the map of England, I live like down at the bottom, literally, before well, anything else. And then the sea happens. So I'm that's where I live. Okay, I'm at the tip of Canada, actually. So this is uh, the part of Canada right here. No, northeast, south, or west? South. South. Oh, so you're so we live in this right. So we uh, are <laughs> we're warmer than anyone above us, right? So yeah, this sorry. is a powerful film, and you gave an outstanding performance in it. I could really feel the frustration that your character goes through. Now, this is based on a true story. Were you familiar with that before you got the script? Yes, um, I know Lenora Critchlow. Lenora Critchlow uh, happens to be a, well, his daughter, I guess is A. Uh, B, she happens to be an actress. Um, so she's in America. She lives in America right now. Uh, in, uh, she lived up the road from where I was living in LA this year. No, not up the road. Doesn't matter. The long and the short of it is, is I've known her for about a decade. And uh, we met on a TV show. And um, we were talking and she said, oh, my dad's this guy called Frank Critchlow, to which, unfortunately, I think she thought I was going to go, oh, your dad was Frank. But I didn't. I said, right. And he was and she was like, oh, OK, one of them. So she told me about her dad and the story. And I and I was like, that happened in this country, in, in England. And she said, yeah, I was like. When? And she told me and I was like. I don't remember ever seeing that on TV or film and her saying no. And I said, that's, you need to make that film. You need, that needs to happen, needs to happen. So I was saying this over a decade ago. And um, so a decade later, I was ringing her up and saying, Lenora, so I'm going to be playing your dad, which was weird as you might imagine. And uh, she knew about the project, of course. So she knew that the project was there for someone to be playing her dad. She just didn't know it was going to be me. But uh, because she's known me as an actor and she knows me, knows me as well. For her, as far as I know, it was, it was good that it was me because she, she knows what I'm about and stuff. And uh, I'm playing her dad. You know, it's like you, 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 if, if someone's playing your, you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, how are you going to put that care into someone's hands? Like, or how are you going to feel about that? You know, um, I, and I don't know how she feels about it, to be honest with you. But I do know from the notices I've got from her and the text. And I actually spent some time talking to her this year after the fact, after we filmed it. So um, I think she seems happy. But yeah, it was pretty trippy for me. And that's how I, I got to know about the story. And and then, and as I say, a decade later, here I am playing this role and um, certain things coming full circle on those levels, but also kind of um, playing a role that uh, in my career and in my life um, doesn't come around that often. Uh, these roles coming from England, uh, but specifically uh, a real story um, set in London, um, I'm the type of actor who, who thrives on those types of roles and they don't come around that often. So all in all, it's been an amazing experience for those before we even get onto the political stuff. Was there anything from your personal life that helped you relate to what your character goes through? 
I was going to be really funny just then and try and be funny, <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, all I'll say is, uh, I think on this planet, if you can't relate to this dude, I'm not too sure you're human. So the answer is yes, but I don't think I'm the only person, black, white, yellow, or brown, that hasn't felt injustice and doesn't know how one feels when one suffers injustice or uh, when someone feels put upon, bullied by outside forces. I think there are people on this planet who, who, who must understand then therefore what, what racism feels like. Then there are people who, who must understand, you know, what, what being falsely accused of something must feel like. You put all those things in a pot, you know, all these things happen to this guy, you know. And when you say you feel the frustration, you may not understand what this guy's frustration was because you've never lived his life. But as you said at the very beginning, you felt the frustration because you know what frustration feels like. And you can watch that and say, well, I bet he was frustrated. So, you know, these things are about human being human beings. And the, what I love about this role is, is that it reminds us that no matter whether we can want to talk about this thing as a political vehicle or whatever else, uh, hopefully uh, people will see that it's a, just a human thing. It's not even about arguing and well, rah, rah. It's about the idea that a human being was put upon for so long that something had to give. Tell me about working with director Steve McQueen. How was he able to guide you through this process? Well, you know, I mean, there's certain things um, that actors bring, there's certain things that directors bring. What does Steve bring? Steve brings an eye. You, Steve's like an Alex Ferguson, you know? He, it's like, you better bring the thing. You better bring, uh, Alex Ferguson was a, was a, sorry, was a, was a, was a football manager of a, of a famous football team in, a, in England for, for 25, 30 years and, and brought a lot of success to them. But, but, but like any coach, the point is, is you, you have your team and they bring what they bring. And then you better bring what you've got 100% of the time. That's what the casting is about for, 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 for someone like Steve, you know. So then what Steve can do is he can point the camera and, and make sure that everything around you um, is good. But he needs to know that what he's seeing feels real. And what's, what's it like working with Steve? It's a reminder for me because these are the only directors I really like to work with anyway, is people who care. People who care about the project. They care about what you're doing. They care about... They're not like, a, oh, Sean, just do what you want. Do what you want. They, they need to know that what they're seeing when they press record is translating to Alexandra. You know, they, they, he, he needs to know that the, your, whoever's watching it is feeling it. And there are some directors, and I can't remember their names over the years, and I'm talking about over... 50 to, to, to 70, 80, whatever it is, years, who in, well, 30 to 40, 50 years, that in cinema, they feel, you, you, they need you, they need the audience to feel nourished when they walk out of the cinema. And I think Steve's one of those directors. It's been such a pleasure talking to you today and congratulations on the film. Hope to Bless see you in many more things in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>